Yeah. Hey Samurai, Mark here and we are fighting Ryuzo in Shadow of the Samurai and this is this is a fun boss fight. I really like this fight. It's beautiful, it's got a really nice rhythm to it, and it's challenging. So hopefully I can show you, I can show you a couple tips that will help you get you through this fight. Um, let's go over those real quick. Okay, so in this video, you're gonna see me make a bunch of mistakes. Not a bunch, but you're gonna see me make some mistakes and I'm gonna leave them in there and I'm gonna show you what not to do. Stay calm, you got this. Staying calm is probably the biggest piece of advice I could give you, so physically relax your shoulders, take a deep breath, and we will get this. Don't forget to armor up. Wear armor that is appropriate for this fight, um, whether it's defensive or health or damage boosting, something like that. He is fast, he's really fast, and he's got a lot of range. I'm gonna show you how to get around that. Um, when the fight starts, let's immediately create some distance, and I'll show you why. Um, so, uh, you can your best opportunity for an attack is after a perfect parry. You probably already know that, but I want to make sure I mention that. Perfect parry and unyielding sword parry are very good skills to have. Uh, I don't suggest using heavily strike. It does a ton, ton of damage, but it eats away at resolve, and you're probably going to need it for this fight. But if you feel like you're using it, go for it. He has a lot of attacks we can parry. I will show you them. And we're not going to be able to use any items. And that's okay. I don't think we're going to need it. Once we master parrying this guy, um, it, it becomes much easier. Now, let's create some distance. Back up and learn his rhythm. Give yourself a couple a couple rounds with him to sort of learn and feel what he's like. Don't immediately start going in there and attacking, right? L give yourself a chance to learn. Now remember, another thing, don't forget to tap the, the dodge button, the circle button, do not double tap it. Double tapping is a roll. And rolling is not super beneficial in this fight. You just wanna do a tap. And that's something I was doing wrong for several, several times when I fought him. I was like, why am I doing this? Anyway, when you see him sheath his sword like that, He's going to come with an um, unblockable attack, and it's actually two, one followed by the other. So we're going to tap, not double tap. You're going to tap, not when you see the red, not when you see the glint, but right when he swings. Now we see a blue glint, that means we can parry, and you can get a perfect parry off of him. Let me slow it down so you can see it. I pull my parry right that right when you see his arm coming out, and it takes a little bit to get it, but you can get it. So you gotta wait for some movement in his arm. And then once you get that perfect parry, follow with a really heavy strike. Now if you want, you can go for a quick strike or two. Find out what's comfortable for you. But if you look at his health, his health goes down a bit. Now my katana is upgraded twice, so there's gonna be a little difference there. Also, can we just point out how amazing the floating lanterns are in this fight? I mean, it's a subtle thing, but it's so cool. Anyway, don't forget to tap the circle button. We're not rolling, we're dodging. So when he drops down like that, an unblockable is coming, but it's followed by a blue glint, which means we could parry it. I did not parry it here. Um, I failed, but if you can learn that, that'll be super beneficial in this fight. You can see I pulled a perfect parry just off of a regular hit. Um, and it's, I mean, the, the parry is essential in this fight. And so there is a double. And so back up, draw him in so you could counter him. Um, right there, I got pretty, I got hit pretty hard, but that's okay. Keep keep an eye on your health. Make sure your health stays up at all times. Um, as soon as your health drops, and because he, he does a he does a ton of damage, you want to make sure that you're keeping your health up. Now, perfect parry, and I followed up with the heavy, and the heavy does so much damage. So aim for the perfect parries. Now. When, you, when he yells and you get a red glint, he has an unblockable charge, but he leaves himself open here. So dodge to the left and then get in there and hit him, unlike I did. I did not hit him. I totally missed the opportunity there. But it's a good opportunity for you to do some damage to him. Now we're almost there. We're almost at the end. So like I said, don't get excited at the end. Stay calm and lure him in so you can counter his attacks really we're on the defense here we're on the we're taking a, a strong defensive style against him and learn the rhythm of his attacks and then get in there and then take him down so moving back moving back and then either dodging and then taking him out don't forget to like and subscribe folks it does help me out quite a bit thanks for checking out my video